literally think to myself year upon year why aren't i asking for more if it's that easy hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm ellie and i run this page fenland interiors before we start make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any more videos so today i'm back with another lord of attraction manifestation kind of video and it's all about vision board and after my last video if you haven't already seen it i will leave it below it's all about manifestation i'd recommend you watch that actually before you watch this video um a lot of people actually said that they did vision boarding or they have never done vision boarding before or they've done one but they don't know how it works and how they're best doing it so today i'm basically going to cover everything from start to finish i'm going to tell you what a vision board is for anyone who doesn't know i'm going to show you how i make mine give you different options and then i'm going to actually show you how to implement the vision board into your daily life and actually basically start living your best life so without further ado let's get started so what is a vision board basically a vision board is like a visual representation of the dream life that you want so it's something that you look at and go oh my god like do you ever like watch something on telly where you're like wow i wish that was like my life well today we are going to make that possible so basically a vision board should be like something that makes you happy something that evokes feelings in you that actually make you feel alive and make you feel like do you know what i want to go after that i want to do that i'm motivated to do that that's literally what a vision board should do it's literally just like you're physically a part of something like putting yourself in them shoes in your mind and in this board you're creating your dream life and a vision of to what you want to be why should you do a vision board so first off why would you not want to do a vision board because especially after this year why would you not want to make sure that you're like living your best life a hundred percent and just little things like this and small implementations of like the likes of vision boards and manifestation in your life you could literally be going from zero to a hundred on terms of living your best life like you could literally look at your board and the next year be living everything on it like it's scary and it's so true like honestly there's so many videos i could recommend it recommend on celebrities who followed vision boards and refound them years later like they're living that life that they once imagined so basically the reason you should do one is because you want to live your best life and you want to implement anything easily that could do that for you and vision boards are so easy to literally like live your dream life why would you just not why would you just not so now that you want to create your dream life and you actually want to do a vision board then look no further because i'm going to show you how to make a vision board for those who don't already know so some of you might actually be familiar with a vision board some of you might not and it doesn't matter either way um you can literally do it so many different ways there's literally no set format it is just how you prefer it so you can do one like i have done here previously um let me just cover up some things that i'm manifesting this year that didn't happen last and i can't reveal what they are so i just need to do that um so this was my vision board last year i literally get a piece of card from the range i think this was like one pound something just a piece of black card and i will put all my vision board stuff over on here you could also do this one which i'm also going to do so this is like a wired um vision board i literally look like i'm in prison hilarious um so this one is from amazon now it was rose gold and i've sprayed it silver just because everything that i have is silver i don't really like gold um so i am actually gonna do this one as well i'm gonna peg stuff on here um but you can also do it on photoshop or a word document there's literally no set way as to how you should do a vision board you should just do it as you want and where you're visually going to see it as well so now we've got our actual um object that we want to put it on we've got our laptop open before we even start looking for pictures no 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 let's rewind this is where some people might go wrong like stage one might go wrong you're literally just on pinterest type 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 and you have a little nose and you're thinking mm, wouldn't mind that gucci handbag would not mind that trip to wherever the maldives i don't know right that's all amazing that's all great and we will get to that and that's the fun bit 
But before you even get there, this is where people go wrong. They don't know what they want. They're literally just putting random stuff on there thinking, yeah, great, fantastic. And this is stage one of where you're going wrong, right? You need to sit down with yourself, right? Get your notepad and pen. So I have this booklet here. I also have a manifestation journal where every year I write down um, everything. And by the way, meaning every year, like we're literally in February and there's no, like when I'm recording this video, we're in February anyway. There's no set time as to when you should do a vision board, so you shouldn't ha just have to do one like on New Year and you shouldn't have to just do one before you start a new job or whatever. You can literally do a vision board whenever you want, so don't feel restricted as well. Like I just wanted to throw that out there. But anyway, so you've got your notepad and pen and you need to sit down and categorise your life. So it's not just about the materialistic things, it's not just about holidays and things like that. It's literally so much more to that. So titles I use, so I've wrote them down here because I use them all the time. So I categorise mine like this. You can literally categorise them however you want. By the way, this is there's no set one, but I've read The Secret um, Magic. And when you're doing like your 30 day like... Um, basically turning your life around and manifesting and like gratitude and things they mention these same categories quite often if you've ever read it um if you haven't i'll link that below as well for you if you haven't actually read or watched a secret even before we've even started this video by the way you're crazy make sure you watch that either at the end or before this video because you will not have a clue what i'm talking about um yeah so anyway the category is why am i going off one. this is supposed to be a serious video use I'm, I'm going off on one so first off relationships now relationships can be a relationship with food your relationship with people and your relationship with your partner your relationship with your work colleagues it can literally be anything within that form of forming a relationship so you could have a picture of gorgeous food healthy food because you might have a poor relationship with food it might be your dream partner your dream wife your dream husband what does that look like to you is that someone smiling and being happy or is that like a miserable couple it might be like a film you've watched of a couple that you look at and think oh my god they're like the dream couple maybe it's like I can't even think of one off the top of my head, maybe it's like The Notebook, <laughs> I don't know, that you um, want to be like them two and that, I don't know, like, I'm not saying that's like the dream call by the way, that's just an example, but like you might like want that to be your dream relationship. You might have a poor relationship with your colleagues, so you might find an image of like where colleagues that are all surrounded together having a laugh, enjoying lunch together, you might feel a bit surrogated at the moment, honestly whatever it is in that form of relationships you write that down so write down relationships and write down everything that you want in terms of relationship next up i've got work and life so that might be the dream job you're after that might be that you're enjoying your job now but you're not being fulfilled so it might look like something like a promotion maybe standing on a podium maybe you're going after an award maybe you're going after um a degree as well that can be under work so you're heading towards a degree put a scroll put a cap and gown anything in terms of work and life career goals anything like that is under that category next up is financial this is actually a big one financial is quite a difficult one to break down but what i find best is writing financial down and writing all the things underneath and the different streams of income that i'm earning from if you're only earning through one stream of income that is perfect that is absolutely fine but just think what are you doing now you could be a pt and you might think oh well actually now i'm only running classes obviously when we're not in lockdown but you might think oh i'm only running classes for six pounds a session could I take that online? Could I do monthly courses? Could I do this, that and the other? So you might have that one stream of income financially, but you're thinking of all those different things. So going off from all them different things, you need to be putting on your vision boards, pictures of online masterclasses. You need to be putting pictures of views that you want. Anything like that, you need to be putting on there because that's going to be different streams of income. Another important one on financial as well is I always put quotes about financial abundance 
If you have watched my first video, I talk a lot about gratitude. I'm actually going to be thinking of doing a video on gratitude, so if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. And um, because I actually enjoy doing these manifestation and law of attraction videos, but gratitude is really important. So I always talk about saying I am grateful for financial abundance. I am grateful the money I spend will always be replaced by more. It's about having those key terms, so I actually put them on my vision board because before we can even get things, we need to be grateful for things as well, by the way. But again, I'll do that in another video. If you want to see it, let me know in the comments below. The biggest thing about financial on a vision board is a check. So, I'll show you this in a bit, but I always have a check and I always write, pay me however much you want so you can have a thousand pounds you can have a million pounds and always put what for so in this part i always write here what for so going back to being a pt it might be for pt teaching it might be for me interior design services it might be for acting anything a big video by the way on that is jim carrey is interview with oprah Oh my god, if you haven't seen that, I'm linking it below. He literally wrote a check and put it in his wallet. And um, it deteriorated over time and he put how much he wanted um, and what he was doing. So he said acting services rendered. Um, and then in like five, and he gave himself like five years and he got it within like three, I think. So, and it was for Dumb and Dumber. So get on that, watch that. Sorry, I've gone off on one. Anyway, the next one is health which can kind of be linked with um, relationships because of your relationship with food. But health might be your dream body, it might be your dream weight, it might be you want to eat cleaner, it might be that you want to start going to the gym, it might be that you want to start yoga, it might be that you want to start doing football, it might be anything. So with, it, with anything regards to that. Next up, business. So this will be for anyone who wants to obviously start their own business or doing their own business or things like that. So for me, which again, I'll show you, just to give you an example. I would do the fact that I'm opening up my own studio for myself. I'd put pictures of that up. Especially last year, I literally... Let's talk about this. I'm just going to cover up the board because I've got so many things on here. But, do you know you can see that? At the bottom of the board is... Do you know what? I'm going to see if that can zoom in. Picture of my office and also a thing that says 10,000 Instagram followers. And last year, I finally like decided that I was going to get my own office. And I also got 10,000 followers over on Instagram. And they were two business goals that I put down on there. And they're happening this year. Well, obviously 10,000, but I mean the studio is happening this year. So visually, I looked at that every day and visually it's happening. So that was a business goal for me. I've also got business goals for followers business goals for how many clients I want and things like that so visually you need to be putting your dream studio down you need to be printing off your Instagram handle like I have done and change the number literally so I've got 10k now I'd love 20k or more um no but you literally need to be doing things like this you need to be like literally doing it does that make sense like literally not like Oh yeah, well I wouldn't mind like 20,000 followers. Are you seeing that every day? Because I am, do you know what I mean? Like it literally needs to be that bang on. Final category that I use, which is like, should be the least important one because it's as you get in the other things, this one just happens to be there. It's the materialistic category. So this is the likes of clothes, shoes, handbags, holidays, cars, anything like that. Um, that's kind of your materialistic category so obviously you'll probably have a Pinterest board full of all those things which are all lovely to have but I feel like when you start manifesting you realise that materialistic things aren't actually everything um, and they just happen to be there as you're doing your other things so as you're getting financially more comfortable as you're building your business goals as you're getting your dream body then materialistic things they just they just come around so there's something that you shouldn't put pressure on because I think they'll just happen eventually. Um, but obviously, this is all about envisioning your dream life. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they happen when you, you don't realise because you've let go of them. I know I'm getting a bit deep here. But as you've let go of them and you're like going after your financial and your business goals and your health goals, 
they just naturally fall into place but as you start vision boarding you'll realize that and i'm so sorry i'm going off on one this is supposed to be like a beginner's one but also how it works because i am proof i feel like it does work and when things work and i'm manifest things i literally think to myself year upon year why aren't i asking for more if it's that easy so as i say once you've gathered all your titles and you've dig deep on them like specific categories i really dig deep on them like i go deep on these subjects so don't just like you know put a gucci handbag on there and go yes i've dig deep into the materialistic category you haven't even touched the surface you know what i mean like you really haven't so i then go onto pinterest or even my camera roll and select the pictures i want and i start searching the categories that are the most suitable i start finding photos that i quite like but note before on pinterest and selecting photos it is so this is like the most important rule of everything because otherwise it won't work this is another like fault people do when they're doing vision boards you need to get a vibe from that photograph if you find that you see a photo and go that's nice yeah i really like that car that's really nice could see myself driving that yeah 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 no 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 you need to look at a photo and go oh my god that car is gorgeous and in here believe it or not when you look at a photo it's like when you're scrolling through instagram you don't realize when you double tap tap and like a photo you get a buzz in yourself to do that because you like it because it creates a wave of energy that enforces you to think oh my god i like that photo tap tap do you know what i mean so think of it as instagram and you're scrolling and you want to like a photo but obviously you're saving it for your dream life what i'd say about that is if you don't get a natural instinct or a good feeling like for me if i ever see like a gorgeous beach holiday or someone smiling and having a laugh on like a beach i get this buzz because it reminds me of times when i've been on holiday and really thoroughly enjoyed it with my family or my friends and i've thought oh my god like i get that buzz like i want to be there i want to be living that if you don't get that buzz do not select that photo please don't because that will cause you trouble later on when you're actually visualizing and manifesting as we will find out have that really gorgeous visualization of your vision board you really have um otherwise it won't work it really won't because getting from a place of not having something to wanting something and the manifestation in between it needs that charge of energy to manifest so if you haven't even got that from a photo you're literally already putting a stop to your visualization already so that is not what you want and if you're unsure what i mean just literally scroll pinterest and you'll know exactly the buzz that you get when you see a photo i can't explain it because you just know so to get me you just need to scroll pinterest and you will soon find out and it will help the manifestation process which is what this is all about so without further ado i'm going to show you how i best go about vision boarding so i'm just going to bring my camera down a bit here obviously i've got my vision board from last year and then i've got my vision board this year so basically all i do is as we were talking about before about categories and things like that i literally have printed all my photos off the computer here they are i've also got quotes as well um that i do like to stick in i think they're just really good to have to be honest with you um and i've literally got them in categories so i've got materialistic things i've got nice bags cars um i say cars i mean car singular because you need to be really assertive shall we say yeah that's the word um on what you want because if you're not assertive with the universe that is another thing that might be actually preventing you and not and when you think oh, i'm not getting the things that i want if you've got a range rover a mercedes jag and literally about 500 other cars on your um vision board the universe is going to be like what car do you want like if you don't know how do i know so make sure it's only one or things like that or even i like photos like this if you're looking happy in a car you drive can you see that yeah like looking happy in a car you drive <laughs> sorry about the lighting um 
this gorgeous sun has come out, which is lovely. Um, so here is an example of a vision board. I'm not doing this one, by the way, because I'm literally going to be putting it on this wired one. Um, but I just wanted to show you an example of what like ones I've done previous in previous years. Um, so this is like the category. So you've got financial, um, holidays, relationships with friends, dream homes relationships with partners so as we were saying before about like emotional characteristics of photographs like people looking happy in cars people looking happy with couples people looking happy like this is me like i love this photo and not because like oh vain but i remember this moment and how happy i was in this photograph that i want to feel that feeling every day of my life because that's an amazing feeling and you should want to feel as happy as you can every single day of your life and there's no harm in that so the whole like be the person you want to have in your life like that is who I want to be every single day and that brings me joy and that's the point of this vision board you know people happy in Dubai camel riding all things like that it's just like nice to envision this you know like I said like Instagram goals YouTube goals all things like that and um, materialistic things people want to be as well I forgot to mention that in relationships and like personal goals like I aspire to be people and it mightn't be like look like them it might just be like their successes so a major one is Karen Bond she's an amazing interior designer I aspire to be her you know Molly May is hugely successful obviously she's gorgeous but like she's hugely successful and all of the things but this is just like basically an example so I know you're probably thinking okay I've done my vision board like now what so you've basically got your gorgeous vision board, however you're going to do it. The main reason for this, if you have watched The Secret or read the book, it, this is why I've obviously advised you to do that before we've started this video, is ask, believe, receive is like the main feature surrounding The Secret. So to correspond with that idea of the whole ask, believe, receive, the first step is to make sure your vision board is in the right place. You cannot make this vision board, put it at the back of your wardrobe for the year, Go and sit in bed and literally just sit there and think, okay, everything's going to happen now. I'm going to manifest everything. I just need to lie in bed, put the vision board in the wardrobe. Literally, no. How the hell are you going to know what you want to manifest if it is sitting in your wardrobe? Like, where is the logic in that? Like, please tell me where. This is where people go wrong. They make a vision board and leave it in the wardrobe all year. So... Step one is to put the vision board in a place where you're going to see it every single day, okay? So whether that be on your mirror because you always look there every day, whether it's going to be on your wall, whether it might be in your wardrobe but on the inside because you always grab your clothes and it's literally there facing you, that's okay. Um, or on your ceiling. I know so many people who have the vision board on the ceiling because the first thing you see when you wake up, you open your eyes, it's there and it's the first thing and it's the last thing you see when you go to sleep, which is amazing by the way because I know so many people say about looking at vision boards in the daytime, but if you look at them in the nighttime, it's even better because when you go to sleep, your brain will have picked up on the things it's already seen and you will literally be dreaming of your dream life. The logic is there people so by putting your vision board in the right place now you're ready to use the whole ask believe receive so asking is basically going to be in this in terms of vision board visualizing it i see vision board and i remember when you were little and it was christmas and used to circle everything in the argos catalog to get off santa well it's basically the same thing i've literally circled everything in the argos catalog i've put it on my board and i'm thinking about it every single day because i'm waiting for santa to bring me it so i've literally got everything in the argos catalog circled and i'm literally looking at the argos catalog every single day am i not so it's the same kind of practice doing a vision board you literally have just got to wake up every day just look at your vision board take a few seconds to talk about it imagine yourself in that position and just keep doing that repeatedly every day if if you're finding that boring that is because you have not listened to the other step that i said where i said if the photos don't bring you joy and give you that buzz you're not going to enjoy the process of manifesting because you're not actually enjoying the vision board that you have created so that was real key when doing a vision board and make sure you take that away because otherwise when visualizing it will be boring because that's not your real dream life that you're actually wanting it's fake so make sure you do that so 
So this again is going off with the enjoyment of making the vision board and looking at the photos and liking them and it not being boring. From that, you can believe that it's going to happen. Do you know why? Because you get this vibrational frequency with them photographs and you just get a vibe. You know, I always talk about, you know, good vibes only. That's what people mean, good vibrations only. Like, just in case you didn't know that, it's about knowing about vibrational frequencies i know i might be sounding dead deep so i'm not going to go into it but i would recommend you watch it. dr michael beckwith with oprah i'll leave that in the comments below if you want to dig deeper on vibrational frequency and believing as opposed to just like the basic fundamentals of it if you're really wanting to dig deeper i would recommend watching that yeah, so you basically just need to connect with the photographs and believe that it's going to happen and I know that might sound difficult, which is why I would recommend watching um, that interview. It's really good because you do get a heart moment, um, which is called. So, and a heart moment is where you are literally on a wavelength with the photograph, with the visual, and you know it's going to happen. You don't know when, but you know. All I'm going to say to finish that whole believe section is energy goes where energy flows. So watch that interview and you'll know what I mean. Like imagine this, you know when you're having a good day, why? It's because you've got full of good energy, like you might have done a workout in the morning, you might have got up early and you're feeling good so you've got this good energy and just good things keep happening or you know you need to have that same flow of energy when you're vision boarding because it's just, it's just amazing. So looking at it day in and day out won't feel forced, it'll just be natural to you and it'll just be there so it'll be a natural part of your routine and make it a habit because I just feel like after this year if you want something so badly enough and you want to be living your best life, I just think this is such an easy practice to implement, it's 5 seconds, 10 seconds a day potentially that you could just be looking at it and if you're doing it as well, take a photo of it, put it as your screensaver, if you have done it on Word or Photoshop, put it as your screensaver, put it as your laptop screensaver, you literally have got nowhere to run from the vision that you're creating for your dream life. Like how exciting is that? Like you are literally scripting out your life. It's like you're writing a movie for yourself through photographs. I find that so fascinating how amazing we are as humans that we don't even know our power to create things like that. It is literally mind-blowing it's so so interesting so you've done all that you've believed it and things now this next part is probably the hardest of them all and i get it it's patient so before you can even receive you need to have patience in knowing that it will happen eventually it's just the patience of when and it is so difficult like don't get me wrong we can all be impatient as like humans you know what i mean like i am i am impatient at times don't get me wrong but it's having that patience and just thinking it's going to happen. Don't know when, but it's going to happen. Like, I always say that, like, it's going to happen. I just don't know when. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. And when you finally have that attitude towards it, you'll be so amazed as to what you can actually get out of life. It's crazy. It really is. Obviously, if you're becoming impatient, it's understandable. But just keep working. Keep believing it's going to happen. Envisioning. Don't forget about the end goal. It's like when you're studying and you want that degree. Don't forget. Like, don't be out of focus. Keep that end goal in mind. Keep that end vision. This vision board is your vision. So don't let it, like, pass you by. Really don't. But as well, don't be disheartened if it doesn't happen as quick as you would hope to. The universe doesn't actually work in our time frame. It works in its own time frame. So you might ask for something today and it might not happen in, until five years. And then when you look back, you'll be like, oh my God, I asked for that five years ago. What the hell? Like, how did that even happen? Like... It just happens when you least expect it, it really does. So just be ready. That's all I can say. It's all in due time and just have faith that it will happen. The universe is working in your favour. Always remember that the universe is not working against you. It's working in your favour. So if you're not getting things that you want to or things are failing in your life or, you know, you might have lost your job, you might have um, broke up from a partner, you might have lost money, you might have been made redundant for your job. Remember that the universe is working for you and not against you. So in a few years time or even in a few months time, you might realise why that was needed in your life because you might have been envisioning something else and you didn't even realise. Like you might have had another job on there and you might be like, oh my God, that's why that 
I got made redundant from that job because on my vision board I had this job and now a year later I'm in my dream job so sometimes it's a blessing in disguise as people might say so yeah that is basically the ins and outs of making a vision board that actually works and good luck with making one if you've made one before and now you feel a bit more of how you can make one that's actually going to work for you do let me know in the comments below make sure as well if you do make a vision board after watching this video you tag me over on instagram at Finland interiors because i would love to see the vision boards you are making um also don't forget to date them as well because when you look back in a few years time you might be quite shocked as to see what's come true like i've got ones from years ago with the dates on um then i'm like oh my god that's actually happened it's it's mad so make sure you do date the things you do and i absolutely love doing this lot of attraction series over here on youtube um and so many people as well over on instagram i've mentioned it a couple of times like they enjoy watching it and things like that so if this is a video that you'd like to see more often and things relating to Lord of Attraction. Do let me know in the comments because I would love, obviously as well as doing the interior design and things like that and Home Sense when it's finally back open. Um, yeah, I'd love to do a manifestation series as well. But yeah, and just keep doing videos like that because obviously I'm working towards my dream life but I love helping others work towards a dream life as well. So I'd love to just keep up with doing things like this because I really do find it enjoyable. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, it really does mean the world to me. Make sure you give this video a like if you did enjoy it. And I can't wait to see all your vision boards. And I hope you do get your dream life because you really do deserve it.